services company then? <laughs> That's where I'm, I'm bootstrapped with this myself. Okay. I've managed to hire uh, probably one of the uh, top people in North America in cyber risk uh, okay. down in Chicago. He's nice. my first employee. Fantastic. Um, I have a former uh, CSIS and CSE agent yeah. working for my second employee. Yeah. Um, and I have one of their asset, and that's what I've been able to bootstrap here, <laughs> living in Barrie. And yeah. that's the starting point. Yeah. And realistically, after that, for me, it's let's look at products. Let's yeah. look at simple ways yeah. that we can help defend people. Now, let, me, now, let me ask you a question. So, you know, with the the whole shift to the cloud, mm -hmm. right, and away from on-prem, which, by the way, I was like, I've been completely shocked by the number of uh, large companies. Mm -hmm including the banks that are still early in their journey to mm -hmm. cloud computing. <clears throat> like, uh, does it make any difference to you? Like, it does. If no. it's sitting at Amazon, do you, should we feel more secure or less secure or the same? I would feel more secure because they make, they're doing all that regular patching. Okay. They're doing that testing. They're doing that penetration, making sure it's secure. So you're but, after the part of the market that's still dealing with it, with it themselves? Correct. Okay. Because yeah. okay. that's the simplest place we can start. Right. right. Um, but realistically, there's a lot of entry points with the cloud, right? Because all of a sudden, instead of having you know one entry point into your data center, mm -hmm. you have people working from home, there's a lot of entry points everywhere. And that's really what's being aware of, is that understanding yeah. that the weakest part of your network might be your person working from home that's letting their kids work on the computer. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's knowing where your entry points are, yeah. as opposed to I maybe see. the host division. All right, right? okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, we're just looking at, um, again, starting with simple solutions, sure. labels, processes, simple stuff, and that allows me to fuel the company, and then get into You know why I love services businesses? is because, you know, really, if you hit on, a, on, an, on the right area, which you have, because it's a rising tide of, of issues, issues and concerns and worry, right? It's, you're really just constrained by how hard you want to work, right? And I've already worked 100 hour work weeks and weeks. For the last 10 years, right? Yeah. Um, the other advantage I have is I think some of the big firms have gotten pretty greedy. And, yeah. and, and like they're charging $1,000 an hour right. for right. a resource. Right. That's ridiculous. Right. And then that resource is right. getting maybe... <laughs> not that, not yeah. that, yeah, right? Yeah, I get it. And yeah. you know, there's so there's a margin to be had. There's margin yeah. to be had, yeah. and, and realistically, there's also a mental health crisis. Yeah. Um, you know, cyber first responders are first responders. There's yeah. horrible, stressful situations, yeah. right? Yeah. And a lot of guys are, are dropping out, much right. like we see in that right? right? And a big part of it for me is like, grab that talent, right? Like, grab them, tell them to come up and live on the lake, right? Yeah. And or I've got you it. can like stress during the day, but man, do you ever wind down at night? And it's right? working so far. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. I love it, man. That's a great story. Like, keep grinding. Yeah. Go off on your, is this your first endeavor off on it is. your own? It is, Okay, yeah. good. Launches on Tuesday. Okay, so you really, literally. Yeah. yeah. I took about four months just kind of like, Chill I quarantined down. myself in my house yeah. and just worked 18 hours a day. Okay. And I vetted all my plans for about five years. Yeah. Through every, indi every indi industry expert I ever pulled on a nice. call. Nice, nice. Right? I took advantage of that. Well, it sounds um, like you've landed a couple of heavy hitters to come join you. I got some, yeah, and I have some folks interested. Um, okay. The big turning point for me was that I really was in that corporate world, downtown Toronto. I yeah. wasn't really tapped in. Right? Yeah. Um, I was able to get um, some financing from BDC, yeah. and then BDC sent me to Henry Burnick, and then it was Sandbox, and it's really been since about you know May, yeah. gangbusters with all the support. So, you, the did you move up here too? No, I'm okay, from Barrie, yeah. Oh, you're from here? So I am, you yeah. came, Oh, so you've always been up I've here? I've always been up here. Right, so when Midland, you get the, Midland you get, before that. So you get the call, you would be down the highway. I would do it from home, oh, yeah, or, okay. or I'd be asked to come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there were some major issues that have happened the last few years. I spent some time down there. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, we were paid less because we were in Barrie, right? Yeah, yeah. So, nah, we'll do it, so we'll do it our, our way this time. Yeah, right? man, it's good. Well, congrats. Thank yeah, you. Good luck with, good luck with it. Thank it you sounds much. like you're on the right track.